Hi, my name is Julian, and I will be taking you through a quick demonstration of how to load a three-color RGB image into the astronomical program SAO DS9. All right. So the first thing that we have to do is open the program by opening up the applications page. I'm use, currently using a uh, 2012 MacBook Pro and uh, with the latest version of the iOS software. So here I'm going to be opening SAO image ds9.app. Double click on that. I'm going to allow incoming network connections. Close applications. Now here, I'm going to resize this window a bit. The first thing that I want to do is I want to allow this program to be able to load in a full three color image. Uh, essentially what I'm going to be doing is loading one color at a time uh, using infrared um, um, telescope images. So any of the colors that you will be seeing are actually false colors. They're colors that we are giving to the images uh, so that we can better understand them. So here under frame I'm going to drop down and click on New Frame RGB. Now, over here on the left side, we have red, green, and blue. This selects which color we're loading or manipulating. Okay, now click back on the main window. Going to first open a red file. So I'm going to go up to File, click on Open. Now here, uh, do, don't worry too much about the different um, headers and um, the actual details of the naming scheme. Essentially what I'm going to be using is um, this one here that has the 24 at the end and then I4 and also I2. Alright, so 24 will be the red channel, I4 will be green, I2 will be blue. Okay, let's get started. Click on 24, we have red selected, click on open. Now this might not look like much, but I'd like to load all three uh, before we start manipulating each one individually. So click on green, file, open, I4 for green. You might start noticing some features starting to appear in this image. Click on blue, file, open, I2, open. At this point, we have all three colors loaded, even though it might not look like all that much is going on. So I'm going to go ahead and start moving our view box around. Click Edit. Uh, let's see, Zoom first. Zoom Fit will show us everything that exists in the images that we loaded. Zoom Fit. You can notice uh, down here, these are the bands where the telescope was not actually taking pictures or collecting data. And now, uh, we can start manipulating the images themselves. Scale, square root, scale, square root. This will make it a little bit nicer to look at. Scale, square root. All right. Now, let's back up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pan into this small area here. Zoom one quarter. Now, edit none. This way I can drag the saturation and um, the contrast in order to accentuate certain features in each color. So now you can see a lot of red. Switch to green. It starts to fill out the colors. Switch to blue. There you go. Alright, that's starting to look really nice. What we can do is click Edit, Pan, and pan around this image in the upper right corner over here. You actually have a little uh, magnifying glass window so you can see some of the smaller things going on without having to actually zoom all the way in. So that is how you load three color RGB images into SAO DS9. Thank you.